and, and that's when he got all close and, and kissed me. Like a real kiss. So how did you even survive? Dude, I'm not even sure. I don't even know if I should like, like I, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I probably would have tied myself to knots by accident if you approached me like that for our first kiss. I'm not even made of ribbons like you. And I think I already did. Oh my goodness. But in all honesty, it was kind of exciting. Uh, if a little odd. I never experienced anything like that before, but it was kind of fun. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Can't you experience all these new things that you may never have a chance to in real life? It's, it's exciting. Do you think it's going to approach you next? I, I mean, more, I mean more like, like soon? Oh gosh, I won't even know what to do. But, but if he does, gosh, what would I even do? I mean, I, I sometimes like drawing or imagining the types of things I would like, but then with actually doing them, I don't think my heart could take it. I mean, would you be able to handle it if he told you he was going to do it in a certain way? No, probably not. It would just make me anticipate too much, and, and... But what? <laughs> okay, I came at a convenient time, I see. Hey, Jax. All right, so what I do this time, Pomni? Gangle and I were talking about um, our first kiss. And now she's a bit nervous for when she'll get hers. <laughs> oh, pff, yeah, I can see that. That's exactly why I chose to give you yours first, Pomni. Poor Gangle here is just a little ball of acute emotional goo. So I've been trying to think of how I should approach her for our first. Oh, okay. Um, any ideas yet? No, not yet. But since we are here and the subject is at hand. Oh my gosh, you're gonna turn into a pile of spaghetti! No, no, don't worry, I'll be gentle, I promise. So, Gangle. I'm watching a murder in progress! Oh my gosh. If I were to give you our first kiss, how would you like me to approach, hmm? <laughs> I can definitely be all intense and loom over you like I did with Pomni. No, 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 please! It'd be too much for me. All right, all right. I'm not even doing anything yet. We're just talking hypotheticals, Ribbons. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't you start your silly apologizing loops either. Sorry. <laughs> so, let's see. Yeah, I guess I'm watching murder today. Who knew? What if I were to do some sort of romantic junk, huh? Dipping you down after some dumb dance and stealing a kiss like so? Oh my god. <laughs> you sure about that, my little thespian-clad cutie? I could even grab a rose for a little extra pizzazz. No, you'll probably twirl me until I tingle. No, yeah, you're probably right. I mean, we could always try some of those funky things you like to draw. I mean, that one thing you drew of you, me, and Pomni did seem pretty cute, if a little different. Ah! <laughs> Jeez, Gangle, what? You are the one who showed them to me, after all. Oh, yeah. I mean, I get it's some pretty freaky stuff, but don't blame me for that. Jax, you were so mean. Me? Mean? No, never. I can't believe you would think so low of me, Pom Pom. Uh -huh. And after all we've been through. Yep. Jeez. And here I am, just trying to make this little moment for Gangle just a little more special. No, that's gonna be special, no matter how we decide to do it. Shush, I'm trying to prove a point to Pomni. Well, Gangle is but a soft and tender soul, so she deserves only the lightest of touches, only the sweetest of embraces. She deserves only the sweetest of whispers telling her how loved and important she is. How, no matter how soft and tender she is, she's our sweetest treasure. Uh, it's a bit too distracted with a sudden barrage of verbal and physical attention to realize where this is about to go. Mm. Ah! Mm. <laughs> there, see? That wasn't so bad now, was it, Gangle? Weenie. Weren't you complaining the other day about public affection? Huh? 
Eh. What? Sorry, Zubal. Can't hear you from behind my pie. Such a shame. Such a shame. Shake your mouth. Cube. Hey! 